hi friends welcome back once again in this video tutorial I am telling about how to set up new document and working with the new document in Photoshop so if I am going to in file menu and here is a new you can also use the shortcut key control and when click on it is small panel it will appear in your front of you in the first is name you can select the new name of your document I am typing test and you can check the presets the preset is the basically it is a type of template you can use the if you have letter you can use US paper you have letter legal and double and you can check the international paper if you are working A4 paper say 6b3 and many more preset is the basically template of size and uh, pixels for using default you can working on the photo if you have some work uh, preset size available you can also use from here web or mobile devices and film and audio you can also use custom here if you are working now using predefined uh, size in the photoshop so first thing is it is width and size i am using for photoshop size or trash paper you can use a4 or any thorn basically i am telling about basics of this panel and first thing is basically width width is your uh, working sheet or working pick uh, size you can select from here type here and you can select from pixel inches and millimeters and points and picas and columns basically if you are working with photoshop graphics web designing so web elements and picture element and another doing graphic designing work like poster flares and flex you can use pixels but if you can doing the work with the some printing purpose you can use here inches and centimeter you can type here any pixel size and you can defining your data if you can use your pixel size you can also see one thing here that the image size will be also be reflect so be sure you can choose the right size the height is one thing you can also choose height and change the height with pixel inches and centimeters and millimeters the third one is resolution resolution basically defining the quality of your image if you can choose resolution per centimeter or per inch it is basically define what uh, how many pixels are you in an image if i am typing 6000 uh, 600 pic, uh, pixel per centimeter or per inch it is uh, basically uh, it is the one block has the 6000 uh, one by one inch block has a 6000 uh, pixel or 600 pixel if you defining from here you can check if i am typing the 6000 uh, uh, pixel per inch you can check the image size is 47.0 gb but so make you sure you have correct size of your image and you can better optimize this image if you are working with photoshop the image size are very large sometimes and it is reflected on your speed performance and your hard disk drive performance so make you sure you have right pixels right size and working with and better pixel optimization if you select more pixel and more defining uh, some higher level of quantity of pixel so your image size has been uh, image is very good quality very very good quality but your image size is very large so next thing is color mode you can select the color mode rgb bitmap grayscale and cmyk if you selecting the normal work you need uh, you like work from graphic design some web application designs some doing work posters flares if you are doing some digital media for sending the image on online you are not printing something you select the rgb color and if you doing some work for printing purpose you can use cmyk color and lab color it is very helpful or if you are using some printing purpose or some uh, publishing purpose uh, you can use cmyk or lab color you can also choose color mode 8 bit or 16 bit or 32 bit the next thing background content if you are creating new document what is the is background by default it is white background color or transparent if i am click transparent or black or white i am click ok 
you can check i my image size and the background color is white so i'm again typing you if you are selecting transparent so you can check there is a dotted but it is transparent layer there is no fill color in this layer so one thing another you can also choose from select black color and you can also change this color later if you are editing any time you can select some advanced types you can select the scare pixels if you have some presets you can use also if you are working with the some movies or some video clips or some other graphics it is very helpful this color profile is very very helpful if you are some printing some purpose if you are printing some use letter some another uh, posters it is very very helpful it is basically define some settings you are printing with ease and you can easily print this you can also use uh, make the one custom settings from here and you can save the preset by clicking name and click on ok you can also define some pixel for and select for later from here so this is the all about my video in the next video i am telling the basic tools and starting the move selection and completely explain how it is work and how it is used for so thanks guys for watching please subscribe my channel